Getting to the oil story, as Saudi Arabia is said to be ahead of schedule in restoring its output capacity following the attack on its processing plant 11 days ago. With more, here's Bloomberg's Amory Hordern. So, Amory, just update us with the latest. Yes, yeah, so according to people familiar with the matter, they're ahead of the schedule by about a week. They had mm -hmm. a self-imposed deadline of getting to capacity by 11 million barrels a day by the end of September. Right now, what we're hearing is they're saying that they're at 11.3, so they're ahead of schedule, and then by the end of November, they want to hit that 12 million barrel a day mark. This is of capacity. But for production right now, the Harass oil field and Begay facility, those two that were striked uh, just the week, last few weekends ago, uh, 5% of the global oil market knocked off. They're now actually ahead of what they were producing before those attacks. So they seem to be ahead of schedule. All right. And that um, schedule being brought forward by a week, is that a significant amount of time given that initially we were hearing this could take months? Exactly. Initially, people were very worried. Yusuf Gamaldin, our, our uh, anchor in Dubai, went there. Anthony DePaulo went there. They saw what happened. Um, Aramco, the facilities have just been working flat out to try to restore this production. And they thought it was going to take weeks. And that's why we saw oil prices obviously spike. And then kind of continued to rally a bit, but now you can see prices are just, you know, much lower on this news, down about more than one and a half percent on both contracts. Um, so this is basically saying that their Saudis are going to be able to restore much quicker than what we were expecting.